September 9th, 1968, Arthur Ashe steps into history at the U.S. Open, a crowning achievement shared by his proud father. Tennis had a new star and the civil rights movement a new voice. A few days after his tennis triumph, Ash would join a roundtable conversation on CBS's Face the Nation to talk race relations and the role of the black athlete. There are other athletes and other black leaders, period, who, who are using their, their positions of, of power and influence to, to wield some practical progress. So I, it's just simply saying to myself, Arthur, uh, you must do something. You just cannot sit by and let the world go by. Peter Westbrook knows the impact an athlete can have. In 1984, he became the first African American to win an Olympic medal for fencing. Arthur Ashe was his inspiration and later joined on the board of the Peter Westbrook Foundation, where kids are taught fencing, a sport that's making a difference in their lives. His spirit touched my spirit. He was one of my heroes my children's heroes in the foundation. I was in awe of Arthur Ashe. And sometimes when people are so soft-spoken like Arthur, sometimes that quiet spirit makes you even more in awe. Ashe's victory was even more significant because 1968 was a turbulent time in America. The assassinations of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy. Race riots erupt across the country, but in the midst of the chaos, a calm, steady hand, a champion emerges. Hi, you guys. Welcome. Generations of sports fans can learn more about Ash in a special exhibit at the U.S. Open that chronicles his rise to the pinnacle of his sport and his impact. That tells the story of both his rise as a tennis champion and also as a civil rights champion. It really takes you into that sort of intimate moment just as that transformation happens. After Arthur won the U.S. Open, that was really the inciting incident for his life as an activist. Helping end apartheid in South Africa, Haiti, AIDS activism, civil rights in this country and around the world, he did it by engaging people, by being an educated, well-informed person. As you uh, get better and better and uh, you come before the public eye more and more, uh, if you happen to be black uh, in these times, maybe not 50, 30 years ago, but in these times, 1968, it's really a mandate that you do something. You must. At his home in Harlem, Peter Westbrook compares Ash to Muhammad Ali and Nelson Mandela and reflects on the tennis champion's accomplishments and life lessons. I learned that one of the greatest qualities someone can have is giving back and making a difference. I hope that I'm able to acquire just 20% of what these great men like Arthur, like Muhammad Ali, like Mandela, what these great men have done. Just allow me to just do 20% and give back and be humble and I would be a happy man. When Arthur Ashe won the U.S. Open in 1968, he was also a lieutenant in the Army. His brother Johnny, a Marine, had served in Vietnam and asked for an extension of his tour of duty so that Arthur wouldn't have to serve and continue playing tennis. Maurice Dubois, CBS 2 News.